Okay, so I have something that's been on my mind for the past few months and it's been driving me absolutely crazy. <laughs> this video is gonna be a bit different. I wanna do more of like a discussion versus like a scripted video word for word because I kinda wanna talk to you guys about some things that I've been thinking about and I'm sure that you know some of you guys out there are probably thinking the same thing. All right, so I'm sure you know by the title that this is gonna be a video that's gonna talk about the pros and cons of if you should create content with your iPhone or you should buy a camera. Hopefully by the end of this video, you know, you'll be able to make a decision on what side of the fence you want to be on and what's going to fit your needs best. So I think the topic of conversation for a lot of creators is going to be budget, right? Like that's going to be the number one concern. Do you want to spend thousands of dollars on a camera and lenses and everything that goes along with it? I mean, cameras are expensive in themselves, just buying the body, right? Then you have lenses, which can, I mean, the cheap ones are four, five, six hundred dollars. They can go to two grand at least for a, a good lens. Then you have uh, gimbals, right? Gimbals. If you want smooth motion, um, any type of gimbal for a phone is going to be a fraction of the cost of what a gimbal for an actual camera is going to be. I picked up a Osmo Pocket 4, I think, and it was like 150 bucks versus a professional gimbal for a DSLR camera is gonna run you five, six, eight hundred bucks. I think it comes down. I think when it comes down to the camera to phone debate, I think it's similar to comparing like a sports car to an economy car. You know, they're both gonna get you where you gotta go, but they're gonna get you there differently, right? One's gonna have more luxuries, one's gonna be more bare bones, one's gonna cost more, one's gonna cost less, and so on. And I mean, you really got to think about it. Like, if content creation doesn't go the way that you plan, or you know, you don't end up blowing up or whatever, you, is it going to get thrown in the corner, or do you want to, you know, pursue it besides content creation? Like, would you, could you see yourself shooting for businesses? Could you see yourself, you know, making videos for corporations or, you know, freelancing or, or whatever it may be? You know, I think that holds a lot of weight in your decision on if a camera is right for you or if you should just continue shooting with your iPhone. I mean, if we're being honest, this thing just, this thing is easy. It fits right in your pocket. You can take it everywhere you want to go. You can take it down to the mall. You can take it down to the beach. You can take it on an airplane. You can take it when you go to different countries. It literally can go with you everywhere. I think for most creators, an iPhone is probably going to be your best bet. Anything you want to capture with an iPhone, you just literally point and shoot. With a camera, you need to learn about the different settings that go behind, like, composing a good image, right? You need to learn about ISO and white balance and shutter speed. And I just feel like there's a, a bigger learning curve to it. And with that said, I mean, I feel like the iPhone, literally an iPhone, an action cam, and a drone make like the perfect travel kit. Like it's so small, it's so convenient. Like you don't have to carry all the extra gear, all the extra batteries. It's, just, it's so much more convenient that I feel like it's worth noting and something to probably take. And the only reason I'm thinking about like combining all these like small convenient pieces of tech to like film something good is I have a I'm going overseas I'm going to Germany and Switzerland in December and I really don't want to pack like a huge kit like I'm trying to make it as small and convenient as possible and that's kind of what spurred the idea to you know make this video and talk about it with you guys because I just it's so much simpler to just bring your little rectangle in your pocket, some mics, a drone, and like I said, maybe an action cam. And uh, yeah, it basically covers everything that you could possibly need. And that can all fit in like a little six liter sling. So something to think about. Another thing I really hate about using the iPhone is the workflow. I mean, it's so, it's literally so much more work, I feel like, to shoot with an iPhone versus shooting with like your camera, right? I mean, you store everything internally on the phone. You can use an SSD, like an external SSD, but I find that rigging that out, like it, you might as well just get a camera at that point. And I hate that you can't see yourself when recording. I feel like that's one of the biggest drawbacks when filming with an iPhone. I know there's certain workarounds, you know, using a mirror that you place on the other side and, and whatnot, but it's just, I feel like it's so much more work. And especially if you want to get different angles that, you know, different creative angles that you normally wouldn't see, you know, just trying to rig something like that up is just, kind of a pain and something as simple as changing focal lengths now don't get me wrong i know iphones you can change the focal length they have the 1x the 2 or 3x and the 5x but when you want to change them 
you're going to lose quality. So when you go to the 2 or 3X and the 5X, you know, especially if you're shooting in low light, I know that it degrades the quality. So it's just, uh, it's just not the same as having like a traditional camera. I'm also not a fan of the clinical image that most iPhones produce. You know, you don't get any, you know, separation from the subject or the background. Uh, you know, it just, it produces the cell phone footage that I'm sure you're aware of. You see it all the time. Everyone's aware of it. And, you know, it's just not something you can get rid of because the sensor size is the size that it is. You know, you can only do so much with such a small sensor. I mean, I feel like it depends on the individual too. Like there's a feeling that you get with a camera that you just can't replicate with a phone. When you use a the camera, there's no distractions. You're not getting incoming calls or texts or TikTok or Insta you're not getting any notifications whatsoever. And I feel like you just get in the zone when you have a camera in your hand. You don't have all those things grabbing for your attention. I'm shooting on a Canon 70D right here and uh, you know, I've been thinking about upgrading to a Sony camera. Um, you know, I want to do more freelance work for businesses besides myself. So I think it's like a natural evolution to just upgrade the camera at this point. Um, but I'm kind of like debating between the FX30 and the FX3. I really want to get the FX3, but it is just more, it's more than double the FX30. And I, I feel like I just can't justify it at this point. You know, the FX30 is a nice middle ground and it's like a fraction of the cost. So I think that's the route that I'm gonna end up going. Um, I'm just not 100% sure yet. Come on. So yeah, I wanted to finish that thought um, that I had about the FX3 or the FX30. Um, I was trying to find a quiet place, but every landscaper and weed whacker in America pulled up and they're loud trucks. And so I just moved locations. But um, yeah, I'm more of a, a buy once, cry once type of guy. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to get the FX3 over the FX30. But, you know, I just, I don't know if I could justify the cost more than double, especially like the lenses are double, like everything is literally double. And for not that much difference. I mean, I think the chief complaint with the FX30 is it's not as good in low light. But I mean, if you light your subject properly and you know how to, you know, shape light, that really shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right guys, so I hope, uh, I hope that video was, that style of video was something that you enjoyed, you know? I definitely enjoyed making it more. It was way more fulfilling, you know, making something like that instead of, uh, you know, constantly sitting behind this desk. You know, it got me out. It got me thinking of different creative angles that I can shoot. And it was overall a lot of fun. Um, I took a lot of inspiration from YC Imaging. I don't know if you guys know of him or have heard of him, but uh, give him, check him out on YouTube and, uh, you know, go give him a follow. He's, uh, a lot of his content's really inspiring, you know? with the different angles that keeps you engaged watching. And, um, you know, I wanted to try it out and see if it was something that would work for me or if I like doing it, you know? So if you enjoyed this style of content, uh, you know, I would really appreciate it if you left me a comment in the section below saying you liked it, more of it, you know, whatever. This way I know, you know, if it resonates with my group or not. You know, choosing between a phone or a camera is a difficult decision. You know, I mean, at least for me it is. You have so many content creators talking up these cameras and like, oh, you need the new ZV-1, you need the ZV-10, like this is so good, shoots this, shoots that. And I feel like your decision making can get like a little skewed at some points. But I mean, what about you guys? Do you have a preference on what you like to shoot on? Do you find it easier just to, you know, use your iPhone since you always have it? Or do you prefer the look that you get out of a camera? Let me know in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious because it's, like I said, it's something that I've been battling with for the past few months and it's kind of eat, <laughs> eating me alive right now. That's why I decided to make this video. So I wanted some input from you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. But with that said, I mean, this is all I had for you. Um, I hope, like I said, I hope it was helpful. I hope you got something out of this, at least entertainment, if anything. But, um, you know, if you, if you did enjoy it, please drop me a comment, a follow, a like, you know, all that stuff, it really helps you know, support the channel, the algorithm, everything else. And, uh, you know, with that said, that's all I got for you.